Black people time is a real thing. Don't act like it's not. They admit it. They're laughing. It's okay. It's all good. That's why I'm convinced Jesus was black, you know, because he hasn't come back yet. Like, it's, that's the... <laughs> he said, I will be back in an hour that you least expect it. That is the blackest thing I've ever heard in my life. He's going to confuse the hell out of everybody, all, all the white people, when he comes back, too. Because he's like, it's been a minute. <laughs> white people will be like, it's been 2,000 years, Jesus. What are you talking about? Truth to every joke. Skin of bronze, hair like lamb's wool. Skin of bronze, hair like lamb's wool. Book of Revelations. There are many verses in the Bible that uh, say this. Okay, Bethlehem is situated in the Asian continent in the Middle East. The Jesus birthplace in the map is surrounded by Israel, Jordan, and part of the Dead Sea. Now, let's go to the map. See exactly where Jesus was situated. Oh, African continent? Right on the top of Africa. Right there is Jerusalem. This people is where Jesus was birthed. Right on the peak of Africa. In a hot region. What's up, guys? It's your boy One Love. One of my followers sent me that uh, comedian. Very, very, very funny. Very, very funny skit. Um, made me think. Made me think really hard about Jesus. You know exactly who Jesus was, ethnicity, where Jesus was born, where the biblical events took place. And uh, in that intro was factual proof of how the Bible, Revelations, many chapters, um, there are quite a few that describe him. Typically, skin of bronze, hair like lamb's wool. So the image I showed in the beginning is a very, very accurate geographical image of what Jesus actually looks like. You know, with, with that being said, the revelations, the verses, and uh, the geographical location of where Jesus was. You have to ask yourself, if you're educated, why do they depict a white Jesus? Why, does, why do most churches have a white image of Jesus? Then you have people, pastors or people saying, oh, it doesn't matter what color Jesus was. It doesn't matter what color Jesus was. More people, we're not stupid. We're not dumb. If that's the case, if it doesn't matter, then why was the image, why isn't the true image of Jesus being portrayed? Why did they change the image of Jesus in pictures and in churches? You have to ask yourself that question. If it's not, if, if race, if color wasn't important, it's race. Why did the Western world change the image of Jesus? That means color does matter. That's what that means. It means the color, the color of somebody, specifically Jesus, it means the color matters. So people that rewrote the Bible, King James Version, whatever, Western world, they purposely depicted Jesus, even though we know what Jesus really even though we know what Jesus really looked like, because the book says so. The ge geographic location of where Jesus was born speaks for itself. Even though we have these facts of what he looked like, the Western world shows another image. I find that very interesting. I find that very interesting. Very interesting. Could you imagine if the true image of Jesus was portrayed? How the people that look like Jesus, the kind of pride they would carry, if, if that was the image projected as Jesus. It would change a lot of things. Let's just think about it hypothetically. 
you know, uh, how would the world be if the actual image of Jesus was put out there? It would change a lot of things. But we've been conditioned to think that Jesus was a white guy. What if we actually follow the Bible and depicted Jesus for who and what he actually was? Think about that. The world will be a different place in many, many ways. Thanks to uh, one of my followers who sent the video. It made me think about a whole lot. It made me think about a whole lot of things. Wow. It'll be a whole different world. The way the color people, black people have been treated will change. A lot of things will change. Racism, I don't know. A lot of people, a lot of things will change. Let me hear your thoughts, guys. Let me hear your thoughts on this video. Very interesting. I'm glad one of my followers wanted my opinion. I did my due diligence to, to put evidence at the beginning. Let me hear your thoughts, guys. Peace.